Here's stateside. House Republicans are a step closer to electing a new speaker. This afternoon, they nominated Steve Scalise. But there are still hurdles because right now he's still short of the votes he needs. CBS 2's Dick Brennan joins us now with more. Dick. Yeah, Marissa and Christine, that might sound familiar because Scalise is facing the same challenges that doomed Kevin McCarthy's speakership. He can only afford to lose four Republican votes. He actually has the support of his rival for the job, Jim Jordan, whom he defeated by 13 votes. But right now, he's still short of majority. I want to thank my House Republican colleagues for just designating me as the speaker. Steve Scalise has won round one, winning the nomination for House Speaker over Ohio's Jim Jordan. Obviously, we still have work to do. We're going to have to go upstairs on the House floor and resolve this and then get the House opened again. In other words, Scalise has to get to 217 votes, a majority of the House to win, and a vote has been put off for now. I haven't decided yet, uh, uh, made a final decision. Congressman Mike uh, Lawler of Rockland County says count, he's not made up his mind route. and says he's still frustrated after Kevin McCarthy was driven out of the Speaker's office by a handful of Republicans. It makes it very hard uh, moving forward. The idea that somehow just change it, rearranging the deck chairs here is going to fix the problem uh, or somehow that Kevin McCarthy was the problem uh, is laughable. Scalise has the support of the man who led the ouster of McCarthy, Congressman Matt Gates. Long live Speaker Scalise. Scalise survived a mass shooting in 2017 and is now battling blood cancer. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene says she has concerns about his health and will vote for Jim Jordan. I lost my father in 2021 to cancer, and unfortunately, Steve is going through a, a, cancel, a cancer battle of his own, and, you know, I like Steve Scalise a lot, and I like him so much, I would like to see him put his full efforts into defeating that. Congress has a lot on its plate, a budget showdown looming, a shutdown could be 37 days away, and in addition, Scalise wants the House to immediately address the war in Israel. And the first order of business under Speaker Steve Scalise is going to be bring a strong resolution expressing support for Israel. We've got a very bipartisan bill. Now, Scalise says while he is fighting blood cancer, it is a treatable form, and he says he's fully capable of doing the Speaker's job. But he's short of the votes right now, and a vote won't be called until he likely has them. Christine. Okay, Dick, thank you.